Okay, folks, I'm going to try to capture a little bit of my chaos here. Um, this is our mud room and our laundry room. And behind that beautiful cardboard door is our extra bathroom, our extra toilet. These are all of our shoes. And it just, we have it's turned into this time of year where we need snowshoes, we need mud shoes or muck boots, and we need regular jackets and we need heavy jackets. And this is my mud room. Completely not functioning. So we bought these uh, brand new captain's chairs when we were on a trip in Arizona. And they we haven't been able to install them in our van yet. And so they plopped right here, which is in the middle of our dumping zone for snow clothes, muddy clothes, all that stuff. So. Hopefully we will be able to get this under control and do a little remodel of this mud room. Like many projects that we do up here, it, a lot of it depends on the mood of our kids, the weather, what jobs Zach has going on for his business. And so this mud room project spanned over like two weeks. Some of that is also the nature of the project. When we had to mud and tape, we had to let that dry, sand, add more layers, sand, etc. So it wasn't just like we could get it done in one or two days. My sister, however, had a week off of work and she volunteered to come down and, and help me take care of a few projects. So the last day she was here, uh, I convinced Zach to throw some drywall up and then we got to mudding and taping. Now I've textured before, I textured our entire upstairs loft that we live in and I have a special unique way that I texture, that's all I'm going to say, but at least it's very consistent because I do all of it myself and I would say I'm getting really good at it and I enjoy doing it and um, yeah, it's kind of fun. So with the paint I had left, I was able to finish the wall that Zach's building the cabinets on today. So here is... like he's bringing his table saw in to cut out the stuff but we're gonna need another gallon to finish there and there and to finish touching up in the bathroom and the shower room so this is basically how our design our designing goes I show Zach 400 pictures that I found on Pinterest or on Google images and he figures out how to make it work in the space that we have after I take an Excedrin because it normally gives me a headache. <laughs> so we decided here to make lockers to go in our mudroom. That was the best way to keep all of our stuff organized, to make everyone accountable for their own space, and to keep things tidy. I'm using three-quarter inch birch plywood here to build these lockers because that's what I had on hand the day that Kate told me I needed to do the lockers that day or find a new place to live. Dad. Thanks, buddy. Here you go. Look, here, here. All right. First two. As we were putting these together, there were a few things that we did that made it go easier. One of them was to cut um, spacers so that as we put the shelves in, they all lined up in the same space or same level. So I had a long spacer and a short spacer just out of simple quarter inch material that we could line up and then use it to get the shelves in the right spot. So doing that made it all line up all across the whole room perfectly. And then the second thing we did was, rather than adding full backs, we did some just three-quarter inch braces, 
which made it very stiff, but also and also gave me a place to glue and to screw it against the wall. So we're just adding in the braces so that we can have a spot to screw it. It would have been really easy for me to edit this video so that you did not see all the crazy chaos with that happens that goes into these projects when we have six kids. But this is our real life. Like I look haggard. My kids are running around barefoot half the time. Um, it just is what it is. It is a crazy life here, but I love it. The final piece for the lockers was to do a continuous top all the way around. We decided to make it a little extra deep so that we can put hooks in front of each space and allow people to hang stuff to dry in front of their locker space. And then also give us a little extra depth for storage up above. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome, should I get the shelf?
Okay, here is our final result. Okay, you switch them. So there is a locker for every person in our family, plus a little bench for putting on shoes. This was a fast project. Um, I'm so glad that it is done. This, this makes it so much easier to function with everybody's coats and shoes and swim gear and mountain gear and everything else. And um, it's just really, really awesome. Up there, we have um, zip lining helmets and four wheeling helmets, a few camp chairs, we don't want to get dusty. And then our crates will fit almost too deep if needed. There's just so much storage. It's so awesome. So awesome. Jefferson, what do you think about this? It's awesome. Harrison, how do you like your locker? It's good. It's perfect for you. It is perfect for you. Those boys have been outside playing in the mud, so they're looking a little dirty. So I'm going to go get them ready for bath time, and we'll see you on the next project.